by the title of the video, you guys are probably wondering, guy, Clyde, how long is this video going to be if the answer to this video, to the question, is could be answered in one word? Well, I'm going to try and give you guys examples, you know, so you can understand where my head is when I give my opinion. And as you guys can see, the question is, what is considered a decent watch collection? Matter of fact, what is considered a watch collection? But me going in depth is what's considered a decent slash respectable watch collection. And the answer to that question, guys, in my opinion, I don't know if there's rules to what is considered a collection, but two watches is a good collection in my eyes. But let's take it a step further. If you have a two watch collection, the, the, the matter that's going to make it really, you know, of quality is if the two watches suits or matches the lifestyle or the life of that person who owns it. So let me give you an example. If a person lives in Miami, loves going to the beach, loves boating, fishing, but nine to five corporate job, suit and tie, two watch collection. Which two watches would fit this person? Comment down below what you think would be a two watch collection that would fit someone's lifestyle that's in this category. Loves the weekend, live in Miami, so the beach life, boat life, fish life, but nine to five corporate office job, suit and tie. Here's my watches, right? Of course, we all go, we all run to the Rolex Submariner once we kind of hit the, you know, sporting, boating, anything that considered that's involves water, we think of Submariner. So in this category, I'll put a Rolex Sub. It doesn't matter if it's modern or vintage or whether it's a Hull, Pepsi, no matter if it's any of those, but it's Rolex Sub steel. So not two-tone, not precious metal, rose gold, or yellow gold. So the Rolex Submariner fulfills the re weekend recreation fun. That's that watch. Now for his nine to five corporate job, I would say a two-tone watch. And in this case, if you want to stick with Rolex, sure, a Rolex, they just 36 millimeter, or depending on his size, a 41 mil. If he wants to go into the precious metal, maybe a Rolex Daydate 40 or even a 36. If he wants to take it up another level, he could go with a AP Royal Oak or a Patek Philippe Nautilus. Precious metal uh, for those two, I would, I would suggest. So you guys see my, my logic on it where it's just two watches but it's two solid watches that also fits his lifestyle. So if he sits down with someone like me and we have a conversation and we're like, hey, what's, what's your watch collection looking like? You know, some people might be ashamed to say, oh, I just have three watches, four watches. That shouldn't be the case. If you have some solid pieces that fit you as a person. So whereby you could go in and say like, yeah, I like to go fishing on the weekends and I take my sub with me. I take my Omega Seamaster, you know, and I enjoy it. I just, like when I sit back and I'm, I'm on the boat, I like looking down at it. And you just go through that type of story process and have fun and enjoy the conversation. And then he could just say, oh, and I'm a, um, whatever, an accountant. And I wear my 36 millimeter Datejust, two-tone. And it just fits my lifestyle. I love wearing gold rings, sometimes uh, yellow gold, yellow uh, or white gold, and it just fits all of my my whole uniform when I go to work. So, hopefully, you guys understand what I mean by having a respectable collection, whereby your collection is two or more watches, but each piece says something about you. Now. You can have 20 watches, 50 watches, and have no respect, <laughs> you know, whereby you're just buying a watch just to like maybe hold cash. There's no story behind it, but just, oh, I heard this was uh, trending. This was hyping. 
based on YouTube videos and, and the chats. So I bought it, put it in my safe deposit box. Nobody cares about that. People really want to know real deep meanings behind why you buy a watch. And sure, nobody, nobody's going to knock you for buying a watch just to, you know, invest and, and just store it and hold. But no, majority of collections just have it as pieces that you wear, you enjoy, and that you love talking about. So guys, I'll leave it there. Hope you guys understand my uh, message in this video. Comment down below what you consider to be a watch collection, whether it's two watches, whether it's 10 or more watches, two or more watches, and also list, if it's two watches, what's the perfect two watch combination for someone to have. Guys, give the video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, subscribe to the channel, show some love, Follow me on Instagram, mentorship.ceo, and I'll see you in the next video.